Welcome back to another Fit Friday vlog. Y'all already know I am on the hunt. I have been on the hunt to try different brands that I have been hearing about on YouTube and in general, okay? Y'all know last week it was all about Lululemon, a more higher end active wear clothing brand. Y'all know I had to come with y'all today with a more affordable active wear line because I wanna make sure we're all included. So today's brand is all about Yvette Sports. Yvette Sports, I always feel like I pronounced it wrong, but they actually sent me over some items before I even agreed to receive any items. I went on the site, checked them out, wanted to make sure they were super affordable and they are y'all. What I love about them, they have a variety of sizes on their site. They're very inclusive. Most of their sports bras come in size extra small to 5X. Most of their leggings come in an extra small to extra large and could go up depending on the style of leggings. So I was really excited when they reached out to me, y'all, because y'all know I like bringing y'all the good good. And I like y'all for us to be able to talk about whether we like them, whether we don't like them, whether we approve or whether we don't approve. You know, so I'm about to go ahead and show y'all these items. Definitely, listen, don't say I never told y'all anything. Y'all need to go to their site, check out their stuff, y'all. Make sure you save you some coins and you use my code SHAY15 for 15% off your order, okay? So, let me show y'all these items real quick. So first thing I got was this sports bra here. The material is thick. I like the design on it. I like the split workout bands that it has. I like the detailing on the back. Of course, it's a little crooked because I had to put it on by myself. But y'all see that? That's cute. Again, affordable always makes things cuter, okay? So I love this. Also, these leggings are from them as well. I really do love the material on these. Very stretchy, that is one thing that I'm noticing about their items is they're very stretchy. These are supposed to be more high-waisted. I ended up getting a size 10 in these. I honestly could have gotten away with the 12. So these are a little bit more, I mean, they're high-waisted, but they're a little bit more mid-rise on me. Um, but because they're super stretchy, I was able to actually get in the 10. But yeah, y'all, these are just a basic pair of black leggings they hug the body nice they honestly don't ride down i do see some gapping in the back but i mean nothing crazy and again if i got a 12 then i feel like these would have fit perfectly the 10 is just a tad bit tad bit too small but i love these stretchy 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 i can never have enough black leggings i really can't so i'm happy they sent these over because i like how these feel i do <laughs> y'all will actually end up seeing me wear this throughout the vlog um actually during a workout i really end up liking this the mesh detailing on this is so me i love the detailing in the back as well the straps is really nice again no adjustable straps but it does have the hook bands down at the bottom which allow you to adjust the bra a little bit to give you a tighter fit this probably is my favorite sports bra that i've received why am i not surprised why are you not surprised this sports bra is made for high impact I did find when I was working out, doing a lot of cardio, that it wasn't super high intensity cardio friendly. Um, but honestly, y'all, when you got boobs, you're gonna have some jiggle. You are. The goal has always been to minimize the jiggle. The jiggle itself is still gonna be there. It's all about minimizing. This is the next one. I actually really like the color of this. It's not red, it's more of like a red, orange like a blood orange type of color which i really do like this one doesn't actually have their name it just has their logo which is nice too you know we don't like them obnoxious logos we don't need all of that this one the zipper actually goes all the way down so you literally can unzip it take it off zip it up have it on 
The straps on the back of this one are so cute. Look at that. How cute is that? So cute. This one doesn't have adjustable straps or the adjustable hook bands in the back like the regular bras, but this is actually a nice fit. I will say this one is high impact <laughs> for sure. Like I'm not getting a lot of bouncing at all. Again, y'all, their, their sports bras go up from like an extra small to a 5X. So they pretty much got you covered. So yeah, y'all, this is the sports bra again very thick very nice material and high impact did, did i mention that like that's what we need girl that's what it's all about finding sports bras that can hold us when we're doing high high intensity activity this one has to be covered okay so next they sent me over one of their pullover hoodies i would have to say this is probably um my least favorite just because i'm not really like i'm very particular about my hoodies i would you know probably wear this one after leaving the gym or something but it's not personally my favorite however i do love the color of this um and then on the back they have their like a nice picture and it says their name this is not my favorite but i do appreciate the detail that they add on there with the picture and the little arrow detailing on the pocket so if you are a hoodie person they definitely have hoodies on the site um that you can check out and you can purchase with my code shay15 not really too much to say about this one love the color just not really a fan of all hoodies you know very very particular when it comes to my hoodies so y'all that is pretty much the haul that's the things that i got from ebay sports again Again, I'm gonna say it again. Affordable, cute, nice material, affordable. <laughs> so definitely go ahead, check out Yvette Sports, y'all. Y'all know, if I'm gonna come with some, some high-end stuff for y'all, I'm gonna come with some affordable stuff for y'all too. So definitely check them out. I'll be sure again to leave everything down below and let's get into this vlog. Guess what I got in the mail? Yeah, guess what I got in the mail? Yeah, guess what I got in the mail? Jane Sculpt has came in the mother freaking mail, y'all. When I tell y'all, y'all know, <sighs> clearly y'all can see my excitement because I have been anticipating getting this belt in the mail. So we are about to do a unwrapping together. I'm not gonna lie, looking at this, it looks small. <laughs> Y'all know I got a size, where is it? Where is it? Medium. And the medium looks small, girl. That was the recommended size that they gave me on the site. I was seeing a lot of y'all were saying that the size they were recommending typically was like too small and y'all would size up. I didn't know that till after. So we about to unwrap this baby right, right now. Let's go ahead and put a little unwrapping music on and we're gonna get this baby unwrapped. So. When you get your J Sculpt, it comes like this in this little basic plastic bag here. Nothing else is in the bag. It just has it wrapped in this little wrapping paper. And they have a little tag on here, pink tag with their logo and the size. I am hoping that I can get in this thing by myself um and don't have to not wear it today because i can't get into it okay please let this thing fit y'all because i really want to wear this oh baby girl oh baby girl i don't know about this medium Oh girl, this not gonna fit. This not gonna fit. Not gonna freaking fit. It's not gonna fit. Let me see. 
Girl, they were not lying. It fit. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. First of all, y'all, this thing is snug. Definitely snug. I'm actually surprised I could get into this because y'all saw how snug it is. Um but it definitely helped bringing it down some more on the waist area. This material though is nice. I'm not gonna even hold y'all up about that. This material is nice. Let me actually put my pants, see how seamless it is. Pretty seamless y'all. I mean, you can't really see anything. So that's good. The only thing of course is like right here, on my side it's kind of bulging out a little bit if y'all can tell but i mean it honestly looks pretty good matter of fact let me take this paper off here that's the easy way to get it done and let's go ahead and get these bands and wrap these around okay so this is where it might get a little funny because these bands, I know they're supposed to wrap around each other completely, but it looks like my hair keeps getting caught. It looks like I can only like barely get the bands touching together. So let's see. Okay, but I mean, touching enough to where it's gonna stay. I'm actually glad I ended up getting this one, the plain black one, cause y'all know originally I wanted the reversible one, which I still could get that one in the future. I don't know, but this right here is nice. So anyways, it's just a lot of compression. I honestly feel like the medium was a great fit for me because y'all can see the bands, I can barely kind of get the bands together. So of course that means as I lose more weight and get more tone and chisel some of this waist a little bit more, um, I can kind of gauge my waist size and everything, of course by measuring it, but also just by how much further I can get the bands wrapped around. With the medium, I can, I have, I should have this for a while, honestly, because girl, this, I ain't trying to get too skinny, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to do all that. I don't need no 23 inch weights, you know? Maybe 25. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm excited to get to this gym. About that, y'all know I said that I wanna get back into weightlifting. Well, the thing I was not expecting is that Texas is freaking cold right now, okay? Y'all know the gym that I go to where I do mainly like most of my workouts, it's outside. And I don't like working out in sweatshirts and like long sleeves. I honestly like working out in sports bras and like crop tops. And I cannot do that right now because it's cold. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Most likely I'm going to have to see if I can get some type of gym membership, like actual gym membership for maybe six months or so to get me through. <laughs> I mean, I'll still go to that gym, but I don't know y'all, cause it's cold now. I don't know if Texas is gonna stay cold. We have bipolar weather here, so I don't know if it's gonna stay cold. I don't know if it's gonna get warmer, but I, yeah, I, I can't do working out outside in the cold. It's just not my thing. So I'm thinking about just getting a gym membership for like six months or so, or seven months. I don't know, just to like, to where I can work out inside somewhere throughout the fall and winter, since it'll be cooler and I don't have to be outside sniffing and snotting and all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Also, let me just say, if y'all have not tried this energy drink right here, this Bang Energy in Rainbow Unicorn, girl, Yeah, talking to my mirror like I love you so much. Curving all my critics like I heard you so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. Tally all the f I ever gave on my head. Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss. They ain't wanna help me, that's what made me a boss. You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. We don't give a f that's what they don't understand. Season, I broke records while loose leafing. I'm coming now, my roof leaving. Don't give a f I don't care. Uh, did the by my 
my lonesome, no wonder now I'm on one. No shortcuts on that long run. All I really want is my share. Uh, get on my god, I might tell him it's nothing. In the discussion, fuck all them feelings, I throw all my pain on percussion. This is disgusting. I hear them bragging about that they did, and it do not move me, not in the least. They ain't been dropping no seeds in the sub, but swear that you all must spot at the feast. I've been on go mode, show mode, show bow, robo, wave ride. Any up, penny down, hand me down, thrift store, old drip. New money, too funny, old shorty, talk about old. I'm on they now, can't get a pass now, I'm a cash cow, keeping it brash now. It's trash now, I'm a spaz out. I've been killing my lows and living on highs, you see in the skies the proof. You could just see in my eyes that there is no lies, I cannot disguise the truth. I've been duck dog getting in my new merch, color duck sauce on the new couch with my chuck song. Get the f on with that. Hey, I'm big cool on the small chat, cause I know now that I'm all that. Got a hot guy on the ball cat. Get the f out of my face. Uh. Talking to my mirror like I love you so much. Curving on my critics like I heard you so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. Tally all the f I ever gave on my head. Lately, I've been living like I can't take a loss. The belt was not hurting when I'm in the gym, when I was in the gym, but girl, now it is hurting. I think because I was in the car and I had to go run a couple of errands and sitting down with this is a no-go. Like I feel like everything is just scrunched up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Who, girl, I probably am not gonna be sweating like that anymore. Oh, it does feel good to get that off. Overall, y'all, I really like that belt. I mean, I do. I think it's a nice purchase. Like, I'm not mad that I got that because at first I thought it was like overhyped, but I can definitely see why people rave about that belt because it literally did not fold. I've never had a fitness belt um, like or a waist belt in the gym that did not fold on me ever and that was the first one so we'll see how it continues to hold up throughout the workout and as you know it gets older of course I'll be letting y'all know right now my goal is really just to get the straps closer together on the belt but overall y'all I feel good it feels so good to get out of it but it wasn't uncomfortable so that's a plus. Y'all, I have a question. So for y'all that have the j Scott belt, do y'all just wipe it off? Do y'all wash it? What's y'all's maintenance for it? Because yesterday I was, here we go again, y'all. <laughs> yesterday I was so, literally, like the belt, it, it absorbed all my sweat. Like it was soaked. Um, so I just had to like let it sit out and air drop. Oh my gosh, y'all. <sighs> Here we go again. Hold on, y'all. <sighs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> How did I get in this thing yesterday, y'all? Because today it's seeming, let me turn the fan. Today it seems like it might be a force. Is it even the wrong, the right way? Maybe I got it upside down. No? <laughs> Cause my thing is I don't wanna break the zipper. Okay. Okay, I think I pulled it up like this. Okay. And I pulled it down. There we go. Whew. Okay. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, hell. We got in it. It is snug. I ain't even gonna, I, I again, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's snug. 
The medium is definitely tight. Fight. I personally like to bring my pants and put it over it. And these pants, these Evac Sport pants are pretty snug to my body. So let's see if we can see any lines. Whoa! Wow! You really can't see any lines. Granted, yeah, it borders out a little bit on the side because, girl, it's tight. <laughs> but you really can't see any lines. So I actually do like that. Now, let me just say, because I do want to reiterate to y'all that for me, the main reason that I wanted to get the J Squat belt is mainly to try it out, see if it was worth the hype, see if the fit was nice, see the quality, see how it looked under, you know, how seamless it was, because everybody hypes about it, and I definitely see why. But I want y'all to understand that everybody don't have to have no hourglass shape. You know, I think with the J Squat belts though, it's important to still be realistic. Like I know naturally my body type is not like this. Like I don't have this naturally hourglass, super skinny waist, big hips. Like that's not my body type. And I'm perfectly okay with that. I think it's important to still remember that this hourglass shape that everybody is running out to get with these BBLs and stuff, it's not the standard. You know, like, let's be real. That's not how most women's bodies look. And that is perfectly okay. I think it's important to love the body that you're in and embrace it naturally as it is. I just feel the need to stress the importance that this is not the standard, okay? If you don't naturally have an hourglass shape with this freaking 22 inch waist, it's okay. Now me, me, I'm definitely trying to get there. <laughs> I'm definitely trying to get there, but I'm trying to do so in the healthy way. Like I don't think we should just be running out to get in BBL just, just to get this shape. So yeah, don't be fooled by the J Sculpt belt. Cause it'll have you thinking your waist is like, ooh. Then you take this baby off and you like, girl, what? Don't be fooled y'all, love your body. Even when you take this J Scott belt off, because right now, girl, I'm looking like I'm fresh out of Dr. Miami's office or whoever his name is. I'm looking like I'm fresh off the table right now. And I know that's not how my body type is. <laughs> like, I have to be super strategic and intentional about my eating and my dieting in order to get a waist this small and have this hourglass shape. It can be done with proper weightlifting and things like that um but it takes work you know um so yeah more of that story don't let the j scoop fool you love your body type when this thing come off <laughs> love your body when you out of the j scoop belt okay